PLCs, or Programmable Logic Controllers, are used in complex automation systems to carry out a series of process tasks. Ladder logic is used to program these PLCs in order for them to communicate a specific sequence to each part of the system. Ladder logic was originally a written method to document the design and construction of relay racks. Each device in the rack would be represented by a symbol on the ladder diagram along with the other external items in the system, like pumps and chillers. These diagrams were used so relay rack setups could be replicated at a later date or in another location. As technology advanced, traditional relay racks gave way to the more efficient and expandable PLC, and old ladder diagrams evolved into the programming language that we know today as ladder logic. The motivation behind utilizing the ladder diagram as the base for the new programming language was pragmatic. Since it was using something that technicians were already familiar with, it did not require intensive training in complex computer programming languages like Fortran. Ladder logic notation is best suited for systems where binary values are required. For example, a contact is either open or closed. Here is a sample of a very simple ladder logic program. Here we see a ladder logic program with two regular contacts represented by open and closed brackets that are called key switch one and key switch two and one regular coil represented by open and closed parentheses that represents a door motor. A program of this nature could be utilized for physical security within a system. Since key switch one and key switch two are aligned in sequence, both of these conditions must be true in order to engage the door motor. So both switches must make contact in order for the door to open in this scenario. Ladder logic has an interesting past and clearly illustrates how necessity is the mother of invention. Ladder logic programs in PLCs can be very powerful and have the ability to control complex industrial processes.